every time that bus was late, it was like, I, I freaked out. I, I just had a bad experience. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh God, they took her. I always thought she was kidnapped. And I worried about this all the way from preschool to high school, y'all. These were my worries. This is stuff that I used to worry about, you know? And, um, and so when I, um, like I said, it was me and her together for like six years. And then um, I met Tina and Terrell's father. And I was just, I don't know, I just knew I was in love with him, you know, but I kind of find out, you know, we be in lust, y'all, because there ain't no way. <laughs> you could just look at somebody and just, oh my God, in two weeks I was gone, okay? I was gone. And um, it took two years to have Valentina, but I was determined to get me a Valentina. I mean, I had, I mean, I had heat from my family and everything. Everybody was on my head. Like, what are you doing? Well, you all, I didn't raise you like that. He, what you, you shacking with him? I mean, the same stuff that we all go through with our kids. I did the same thing, y'all. And Tina was born. Like, two years after that, I had Tina. And um, I lost a lot of weight with Tina. I don't know. Something about Tina. I just, I just couldn't eat with Tina. Everything I ate when I was pregnant with Tina, I vomited, you know. And I was, I guess I was looking so good that, you know, my ex-husband was like, bam, here come Terrell. <laughs> so Tina and Terrell's like a year and four months apart. A year and four months apart. And, um, no, a year and three months apart. They're a year and three months apart. Yeah, so, um, it was like my family just added on quick, you know. And, um... But from then there, you know, it was like it was problems with, you know, me and him. Because at the time, you know, he wasn't a husband. He was a boyfriend, you know. And um, we didn't get married till Terrell was uh, five months. I was five He No, I wasn't five months pregnant. He was five months old. In 2003, we got married. And, um, but it was a lot of in and outs. There's a lot of ups and downs in our marriage. There's a lot of ups and downs in our relationship, period, you know. Um, he a good friend today, but as far as back then, it, you know, he was young, you know, because I'm older than him. So, I, I met him when I was 29 and he was 21, but dang, he didn't act like it, you know, he didn't, it didn't matter, you know, at the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, you know, he was still young and living his life, so it ain't nobody to blame. It's just the age, you know, the age difference and everything like that, but, um, but, by him being in and out, like I said, wild like he was, or, you know, just hanging out, or us breaking up over stuff, and him not coming in, I spent most of that time there alone with my children, you know, if he, you know, it was times where he had to go away, and stuff like that, I was there with my kids, you know what I'm saying, and so I made sure that each and every moment, you guys, I severed every moment that I could with my kids, every little outing, Every little, uh, the first walk, the first talk, the first laugh, whatever. I, I, I captured it, y'all. And I have, I'm going to have no regrets the day I close my eyes. I'm not going to have any regrets when it comes to being in my children's life because I was there. I wasn't no deadbeat mama. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't the richest. I didn't have money uh, like that, but I made it happen. You know what I'm saying? They never went hungry. They never went without, you know, and I was always that kind of a mother that I was very overprotective with my children. That's why I kind of didn't like, you know, the accusations that was made. Um, even when Queen had got on there and cleared it up about the, the father, uh, about, uh, about Tina and Terrell's father molesting her, how to, the evil, wicked things that were said, you know, I was always that type of mother that sat back and, and and looked at mothers like on the news, like why would she leave her kids with the boyfriend? You know, stuff like that. That's stuff I never played. You know what I'm saying? I took my my kids, my daughter with me. And I was always the type that I had a job. I worked all the way up until um, my pregnancy. I worked all the way up until it was time to have my baby. And then I went uh, to the hospital. I worked that Friday. And I left out and said, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to have my baby on that Monday. That was the type of mother I was. I had I give I had gave the pregnant women that worked uh where I had worked at, um, they they had no excuse because the supervisors was like, I don't want to hear that I'm pregnant, mess. This is, we know a woman that worked here and worked all the way up to her pregnancy and took the day, two days before she went to have her baby. So don't come in here like I'm pregnant. I mean, I shut their excuses down. I mean, I know everybody carry their pregnancy different, but me. I worked 
And I think when I walked out on my job, when I finally walked out on my job is the day that I had, when I had Terrell and um, I was off of course on maternity leave and um, uh, I had walked in a job and I was going to, you know, my shift at the time I was the um, team leader at a uh, cleaning company in Riker, right? The Riker building and the hospital, you know, and um, I, I, I just remember pushing that cart going up on the second floor and I just had like five rooms to do and make sure everybody else was doing their job and stuff. I remember pushing that cart down the hallway and I remember saying, no, I'm done. I don't want this, you know. And I and I turned around and I was, I was walking out and everybody was like, where are you going? I said, I quit. They was like, are you quitting like that? I'm, saying, I'm sorry, you know what? I got, a, I got a, a newborn at home and a toddler and a, a seven year old. I wanna be at home with my kids. And I left. I walked off that job so that I can become a full time mother with my kids. And that's what I did. I didn't trust my kids at a daycare. I was just that type of mother. I was just real protective over my kids. And what's crazy is I'm still like that to this day. I ain't never been a deadbeat mother. I ain't never, uh, when my kids was in a place where I harmed any of my kids. You know what I'm saying? You could tell by the, the way they was raised and you know how the oldest one is. And she could tell you with her own mouth what type of mother I was. Tina can tell you just by her actions because she's spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she gonna say what she said. I don't sound like a kid that been abused or not been taken care of. To me, that sounds like somebody just used to getting their dog on way all the time, you know? But nevertheless, it was like, I was there. I was there for my kids and I am now. And I'm that type of person that I worry. I worry a lot. And I know they say that's the sin to worry. You shouldn't worry like that about, you know, your kids or whatever, but I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the mother instinct in me. That's just, I can't help it. You know, I don't want anything to happen to my kids. I pray for my kids day in and day out, you know, and it's not that I don't let them grow up, allow them to grow up, because I do. It's just that I was involved. It's a difference there from letting them, keeping them from growing up than being involved in their life. You talking about somebody just brown their kids 24 seven. I did everything with my kids, everything. Um, you name it, you know, and it was like, you know, I just thought when they was, you know, coming up, like, well, I ain't gonna worry about, you know, when them daughters that grow up, they don't see their mom or their daughters don't come around or, you know, their kids don't come around them because they went through this when they was little and they just don't want to see them and all this type of crap. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm gonna be around my, my grandkids, you know, always picture myself in this big house with all these babies running around, you know, because my kids weren't gonna have to worry about nothing, you know. I was gonna have my grandbabies because I don't want nobody else out in the street mistreating them. I didn't want nobody else in a daycare mistreating them. You can't trust people with your kids, y'all. And this is the type of person that I've been and always been. But nevertheless, I've always been a very outspoken person, but at the same time, I've always been a humble person. I've always been one, I love hard. That's my problem. I love hard and uh, Queen calls me dramatic. She said, oh, mama, you so dramatic. You just, yeah, but you get it from me too. You know what I'm saying? She get it from me too. And I, I'm, I can say that, you know, I, I am dramatic. Um, I mean, that's just how I am. I just get emotional. And, I, I, and it's because, you know, my, my ex-husband used to tell me, he said, like, you know, Reva, I know you've been through a lot of things in your childhood. He said, but you got to learn how to balance that. It's like your balance here is all the way off. It's like, just because this happened to you or whatever, and this was like this in your childhood, that don't mean that, you know, you, you, you got to balance that out with your kids. They can't get away with everything or they just can't be allowed to do this and do that because, you know, he used to get on me all the time. And to make a long story short, no, I'm not a good disciplinarian. I'm not a, I'm not the disciplinarian in this family at all. It was always my ex-husband. And he used to always, all the time, like, get on me for that. Like, you know what, I'm trying to raise these kids and you interfering. Well, when you go, don't hit him like that. The, the belt, don't do that. You hitting them too hard. I don't like the way you did. Well, don't yell at him like that. You're going to embarrass him. Well, don't do this. And it was like, I did. You know, I met my faults. I had a lot of interference when it come, came to raising my kids. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that was just that protector to come out because I would, my, I would just have flashbacks on things that I went through and my brother went through when I was young and was like, no, no, nobody's gonna do my kids like this. No, it's not gonna happen to them. You know what I'm saying? It's just confusion and 
you know, a, a lot of different other things. This is like, like why I'm by myself today because I'm not going to have no man in my house throwing my son around. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to have no man in here jumping on my son. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bucking up against him. You know what I'm saying? And, or, or, or pushing up on my daughters. I'm just not going to have it. You know what I'm saying? And so after my marriage, uh, uh, plenty of times, you know, I, I could have had somebody. But I, I, I chose to stay alone because my kids, you know what I'm saying? They should be able to walk around the house with no problem. They should be able to, you know what I'm saying, enjoy their home without worrying about, is that man mama got? Is he cool? What y'all know about him? It's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen, you know? And I just felt like when it came to Queen, I was in love, but at the same time, I, I was there with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I protected my daughter. But that's the type of person that I am, you know? I'm not a confrontational person. I'm not a person that um, likes to, if I can, if I can uh, make peace in a situation, I'd rather, so much much do that you know what i'm saying um or if i see a situation is not resolving uh like it should um and it's constant trouble or whatever I i'll walk away i'll leave because and that's the part i used to uh, the last video one video i said well i'm, I'm a runner I, I sometimes run in situations like that a lot of people mistake it as you know um she's scared you know but it wasn't it's not that i'm scared i'm scared of myself you know what i'm saying i don't want nobody to see me act out of character that i, I shouldn't act out of and there's some temper problems there there's some anger problems there because of the past hurt and things that i went through so it is some rage but god has calmed me a lot god has healed me a lot in my hurt and areas and i just thank god for him i just thank god that i look back on some things in my life where things, uh, I used to break glasses, dishes. It didn't care. I didn't care if it was mine, whoever it was. I was busting out your windows. I was um, tearing up anything that you had. You know, I was coming for you. You know, that was the type of person I was. And I was also the type of person I used to harm myself. I used to always be told I was ugly and, you know, uh, my hair wasn't good enough. My hair was nappy. Um, I, I wasn't light enough. Um, you know, my nose, I needed a nose job. I was just always put down all the time, you know. And when I look at Tina, it's like I just see me all over again because I see the things that she go through. Man. I'm sorry. I see the things that she go through and people don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I get... I get frustrated a lot because the anger, I see it in her. It's the rage that I see in her. And it's like, dang, you know, people don't know what they say. You know, people, people say words, words hurt. Go kill yourself. You ugly. You'll never look like your sister. Um, and this is a constantly, and this is before she was even, the, I'm, I'm talking about the time she used to stick up for her sister. And she was always told that. Even before T Queen was even famous, she was always told that. Coming up as a little girl, oh, you was so ugly. And she used to tell me that, you know, certain ones in church would call her that. And I I, I just told her, I said, I wish I knew. You, you showed sure didn't come and tell me. Because I showed sure it been in them people's face. But it's just that the words, you know, I see her. When I look at her, I see myself all over again. So I'm lenient. You know, I'm lenient, which I'm, I'm not saying that I don't deal with her when it comes to situations, but I do. But I'm lenient in so, some situations is real sensitive. And like I tell her and Queen, I don't want to be in the middle of y'all two. Y'all work that out. I'm not getting in the middle. You know, um, a lot of times I feel, you know, when my kids do something, I'm accused. Um, you didn't raise her right. That's not fair. I raised her to the best of my ability. They got their own mind. Some, some, uh, Tina took after her father. Tina, just like her daddy. Terrell, Terrell's got my mannerism. Queen, she got in between. She's more like her father because she, she feels like, well, I'm like you, mom. No, Queen, because the part that you're not like me is she's not, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something if I got to. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stand up for myself. But I feel like with Queen, you know, her father was just the type of person, he always used to do this. This was his body language. He would throw his hands up and be like, I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. And I just watch, I would watch people cuss him out, get in his face, and he would just throw his hands up. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. And he would just, he would walk away. And that's the type of person Queen is. And 
I'm not like that. I'm sorry. It's like if you get in my face, it's okay. Okay, back out my face. You know, back out my face. You know what I'm saying? And but if you keep pushing, I, okay, I got to come out the corner. You're pushing me in the corner. I'm coming out the corner. And that's the type of person that I am. Um, and Tina, I'm sorry. She blunt. Her daddy blunt. Her, her daddy like, oh, let's do this. We're going we gonna to do it now. We'll, we'll talk about it later. But we're about to do it now. And so that's how she is. And so I feel like I catch the brunt of a lot of things that, you know, was said and done because of the fact that I didn't speak up. And I felt like I was in the middle. First they said, well, you didn't speak up because your mom said this, so you agree with it. No, I didn't. You know, I didn't agree with a lot of things that my mother did. And I don't agree with the things that Tina's done. But at the same time, you can't come at me and say, you know, y'all all like this and when I'm not. I'm not, you know, I, I've been there for my kids. I've been in my kids' life. And I think it, it, it's some anger there when it comes in between the two of them because they said, well, you didn't handle her for this. So I felt like, you know, you could have said something. And I'm saying I did. And then on this end, I'm getting it. Oh, you, yeah, that's your number one. That's your golden child. So I'm, feel, I'm feeling like in the middle. And at the same time, I get it, you know, from social media. So I'm, I feel like I'm getting it all the way around and it's not fair. I don't think it's fair how people come at me because I'm not the type of person that handle it the way you think I should handle it. It's not fair, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I feel like if you're gonna down me and say, well, you need to raise Tina right, then uplift me for what the way Queen was raised because you so y'all sit here and say, Queen is this beautiful person, but Tina is like this. So y'all talked to me. I was the same mother that raised Queen. I'm that same mother. You know what I'm saying? So give me that same respect and let me work this out because after all, I am over here by myself. Ain't nobody helping me raise these kids. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody been there helping me raise my kids and putting. So don't everybody just gonna put their two cents in and say you should do it this way, you should do it that way. Because one thing that I never did, I never had a whole bunch of hands in my house. You know what it went on in my house stayed in my house. You know what I'm saying? It didn't go all out there in the street for people to be talking about it. So while I'm up in here handling my kids, I appreciate it if y'all would let me handle my situation with my kids and then just enjoy, enjoy the videos that I put out. You know, I don't have to get personal, you know, and, and, and go all into smacking this one upside the head. Say, look, y'all did it, see? No, it doesn't go like that. And it's not that easy. But you got to understand, too, that I'm in a situation and a predicament and it's kind of, um, you know, uh, uncomfortable for me. And I just, like I said, I shouldn't have to walk on eggshells. So that's me. That's the person I am. That's the truth behind me of how I handle things and what I've been through. And I'm just the type of person that I love my kids and I, and I do to the book, to what I, how I can handle the situation. That's just the type of person I am. I've always been like that. And it's before any public, you know, uh, life came along i was the, i was that when they were little i was that growing up i'm that person you know but i feel like i'm a protector over my kids and that's just the way i am i'm just gonna be like that because of the way i was done and yeah i probably need to get help in that area because i do reflect back on oh my god this is this and that and that i can't let that happen because i gotta stop looking at them and seeing myself through them but look at them for them because that's what i've been doing you know looking at their life saying oh my god that's me that's me but it's not me it's them you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to share that with y'all um i hope that uh y'all got some type of understanding um i hope that it helped you know, I just want to tell somebody out there that, you know, whatever you're going through with your kids, keep on working. If you by yourself, don't let nobody make you feel bad. You raise them kids the best way that you could. You know what I'm saying? And whatever, however they turn out, you know, is how they turn out. That don't mean it's your fault, you know, but it just means that, you know, you just pay them a little bit more attention. Stand behind them. Never give up on them and always support them. Like I'll always support. I'll always support mine. I'll always support Queen. I'll never give up on her. I don't care how many times people say leave her alone or you know you let her live her life, which I do. I don't bother her, but at the same time, I'm I'm never gonna give up on mine. I'm there for mine. I've always been from day one. And I just wanted to tell y'all that. I'm there for Tina and I'm there for Terrell on both sides. I just hope y'all enjoyed this video. I just wanna say. Be blessed and peace out in Jesus' name.